Hello, my name is Willem van der Forst. I'm a chartered accountant, some might say a reformed accountant. I am now a venture capitalist who tries to harness the power of exponential technology in building businesses. Exponential technologies are those that are on a very rapid evolutionary path. And because of that, these are the technologies that everyone refers to as disruptive forces. Typically, it's stuff like nanotechnology, digital biology, AI, machine learning, big data, Internet of Things, CRISPR-Cas9. In other words, those technologies that are reforming old school business models and the business landscape as a whole. The shift out of a safe partnership, a global safe partnership was daunting. The protection that um, your fellow partners afford you uh, and the safety of being a part of the larger group is quite a psychological barrier to get around. It's a very different ball game if you eat only what you hunt. And that psychological Rubicon was, was quite, a, quite a bridge to cross. Uh, I will say this though, there, I mean, as wonderful as, as my firm had been to me in terms of education, knowledge, experience, networking, um, the world outside of corporate, uh, daunting as it is, is also a hell of a lot of fun. We get to dress exactly how we want. And um, even though there's a whole lot more uncertainty, I think it repositions risk in the way that we were trained to think about risk. Vis-a-vis, -vis, risk is something to uh, worry about and to avoid. And whereas now, I'm of the view that risk is something to seek out and when appropriately managed, can be extremely lucrative and also fulfilling from a soul perspective. One of the issues that society faces with the introduction of exponential technologies is this notion that the future world of work is going to look fundamentally different from anything that we've seen in the past. And of course the issue that we face is that our education systems and regimes still try to produce more of the same. We're making more doctors, more lawyers, more CAs and more engineers. And even though we're all aware of the fact that this future of work is going to look fundamentally different, we seem to still supply more of the same of old school. So there's a disconnect. We're making more obsolete stuff. And if the professions, CA included, are unable to mitigate and change relative to this new world, it's also going to be obsolete. So, XTEC Institute is one of the education assets inside of the broader XTEC capital. And of course, the name is easy Exponential Technology Institute. And we aim predominantly at high school level kids where we immerse them into exponential technology experiences and reframe a mind frame. Because this is something that I don't see a lot of schools doing. As South Africans, unfortunately, we like to complain about societal issues rather than solving them. And XTEC Institute teaches kids that looking at a societal issue through the lens of opportunity could be a great commercial endeavor. In other words, I can solve this problem whilst making a sustainable profit. I don't think the big corporates are going to go from 50,000 employees to 150,000. But we can make 50,000 new entrepreneurs who each create three or four or five or perhaps even more jobs in their own right. And I think that's how we lift this economy out of the slump, whilst at the same time serving society through these seemingly intractable problems being solved with the power of exponential technology. And that's what our school does. Someone has got to take a stab at it, and so we are.